Today, we're going to be talking about the six steps to hit any goal you want. Coming up. Today, we're going to be talking about the six steps to hit any goal that you want to in life. And I got this from my favorite book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, but this is in Think and Grow Rich, he specifically talks about just how to use this towards making money. Uh, I take this and change it just a little bit so that you can hit any goal that you want to, not just money. It could be anything that you want to. So grab a pen and paper. Let's dive into it. The first step is to fix your mind on the exact goal that you want, the exact goal that you want. And one thing that I always say when I talk about goal setting that I see most people make massive mistakes with is that they're not clear on what their goal is exactly. Like their goal would be, for instance, to make more money this year. But if you make a dollar more than you did last year, you hit your goal, right? But I'm sure you didn't want to make just a dollar more. So you've got to know the exact dollar amount that you want to make this year. Another example is people say stuff like, oh, I want to lose weight. Well, if you lose one pound, you've lost weight. So you need to be very, 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 I I can't say very enough in this situation, very specific on exactly what your goal is because you won't hit a target that you can't see. So you've got to be very, very clear of exactly what your goal is because the better that you can see, the more concise you get and the more clear that you get with that goal, the better chance you have of hitting it. And so an example would be something like this. Instead of saying, I want to lose weight this year, You could say something like, I want to lose 10 pounds by the end of the year, which means that I will weigh, um, you know, 185 by the end of the year. And I want to get myself down to 7% body fat. And you know what? Here's a picture of the person who has the perfect body that I want. And that's what I want to look like. Do you see the difference between I just want to lose weight and between that is you're very clear on exactly what it is that you want. The better that you can get, the, the more clear that you can get on what it is that you want, the better that you can see it and the more likely you are to hit it. So the first step is you have to be extremely, extremely clear on exactly what it is that you're shooting for. The second thing is super important. I don't think most people actually pay attention to this is determine what you plan to give up in order to get what you want. So, you know, in order to get your goal, you're going to have to, in order to, to do something you've never done, you're going to have to stop doing some things. And so what that means is if let's, let's continue on the path of losing 10 pounds, what do you intend to give up? Maybe you tend to give up alcohol for, you know, Monday through Friday. And you can only have alcohol on Saturday or Sunday. Maybe you decide to give alcohol up for the rest of the year. Maybe you decide to give up sugar. Maybe you decide to give up processed foods. Maybe you decide to give up meat. I don't know what it is for you, but you've got to get extremely clear of what you plan to give up in order to get that. Because now you know what you can cross out of your schedule and not have to worry about again. Let's say that you want to make $200,000 this year. What are you going to give up? Well, you're probably going to have to start getting up earlier, maybe stick to a morning routine. So then that means you're going to have to you know, give up your late nights. Maybe that means you're going to have to give up uh, having coffee after noon right? And you have to figure out in order to get this goal, I'm going to have to change things about myself. I'm going to have to change things about my schedule. And I'm also going to have to give things up. What are the things that you need to give up in order to hit the first thing that we were just talking about in number one? Number three is you need to establish a definite date that you will hit this by. You need to give yourself a deadline. It's like the phrase says, a goal without a deadline is just a dream. So what is it? What is the exact deadline? Oh, I want to hit it by, you know, the, the beginning of quarter two. Maybe you say, I want to lose those 10 pounds by December 31st of this year. You got to know exactly when it is that you have to have it done by because the human mind works really well with deadlines. It's the reason why the day before you go on vacation is the most productive day that you have of the entire year is because you have a deadline. It has to be done. And so if you can get very clear on exactly what it is that you're doing and you know the date, you've got the road paved. Now we just got to figure out what you got to do and what you got to stop doing in order to hit that goal that you're shooting for. So now that you know what your goal is, what you intend to give up, and now you also know the date, the fourth thing is let's come up with a plan. Let's sit down with a pen and paper and 
pretend that this goal of yours is just this, it's like a business plan. You're trying, you're trying to start a very successful company. You need a business plan put together, right? So if I want to lose 10 pounds and I want to uh, get my body weight to 150, or I'm sorry, 185, and I want to get my body fat down to 7%, and I want to look like this guy in this picture right here, I'm going to do it by December 31st of this year, and I intend to give up alcohol. I intend to give up processed foods. I intend to give up, you know, sugars. Okay. Now I know what I'm giving up. Now let's make a plan. I also looking at this, know that I'm going to have to get really clear on my caloric intake every single day. And I'm going to figure out exactly how much I'm going to, how much I'm going to have each day, my micros, my macros, all the stuff I need to figure out. I'm also going to have to figure out a workout plan. Okay. So I'm going to work out four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'll take Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And then I'm going to meal prep every single Sunday and every single Thursday. And now I can come up with a plan and it doesn't look that hard to hit my goal anymore because I have the plan in front of me. And now I just look at it and go, okay, now all I've got to do is actually follow through. I've got to actually do what I've put down on this piece of paper. So now we've got a plan. Now here's where it starts to get really important. This is where most people usually mess up. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. Very rarely do people know what their goals are. If they do know what their goals are, they don't have any sort of deadline to them. If they do have a deadline to them, they don't have any sort of plan. And if they have a plan, they usually don't do this. What they usually do is they usually forget about it. How often have you gotten to December 31st of XYZ year and you go, God, I don't even remember what my goals were for this year. I don't even remember what my New Year's resolutions were. And the reason why is because you didn't figure out a way to get extremely clear on what your goals are and make sure you remind yourself every single day. And that's what the next two have to go with. Number five is you need to write out a clear and concise statement, four sentences, five sentences maybe, explaining one, two, three, and four. And so it'd say something like, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, get my body fat down to you know, uh, 7%, get my body weight down to 185. This is the picture of the person that I want to look like. And I'm going to do it by December 31st. And I intend to give up alcohol. I intend to give up sugar. I intend to give up processed foods. And my plan to get there is to every Sunday meal prep my food to make sure that I don't even have to think. I'm just going to have to eat the food that I have. Therefore, I don't get caught in low blood sugar and then going towards candy, which is what I normally do, which then obviously screws everything up. I'm also going to do meal prepping every single Thursday. And my workout plan is I'm going to do high intensity interval workouts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm going to do yoga on Saturday. And I'm going to do that for the entire rest of the year. And if I do that, it looks like I should hit my goal. Right? And so it'd be like four or five sentences, whatever it is. But do you see how when you follow these steps to a T, you get very, very, very clear and granular. And now all you have to do, you don't even have to think. You just have to execute. And that brings us down to the very last one, which is number six, is to take this clear and concise statement and read it to yourself at least every single morning and every single evening. Why? The evening, because you're setting your subconscious up because your subconscious mind is what is working the whole time that you're asleep. So you're saying it to yourself before you go to bed, you know, programming it into your subconscious. You can start to believe it's possible so you don't forget. And then every single morning when you wake up as a reminder. Now, if you want a bonus, a bonus is to say it to yourself, you know, put a reminder in your phone so it goes off every single hour. And every single hour, you read this statement to yourself. You're literally going to brainwash yourself into knowing exactly what it is you need to do, knowing the date that you're going to do it by, knowing what you're going to be giving up so that you don't fall into the trap of accidentally eating the wrong thing, and knowing the exact plan. So now it's literally if somebody were to smack you at three o'clock in the morning, your sleep, they just come up, they smack you in the face, and they say, hey, what is your plan to lose 10 pounds by December 31st this year. Brrr, you can just read it off. It's got to be that deeply ingrained into your subconscious mind that it's, it's not only possible, it's going to happen. 
and that's what most people usually don't do. They usually don't have reminders set for them. If you want to go even further, so you have, you can read it to yourself every single morning. You can read it to yourself every single night, or you can read it to yourself every single hour, put it on your phone and make yourself read it to yourself every single hour. If you're at work, you have to look at your phone. You have to say it out. You have to, even if you're at your, your cubicle, you have to whisper it to yourself and you have to go through the whole thing or go to the bathroom and talk to yourself in the bathroom, whatever you have to do. If you want to go even further, get sticky notes and put it everywhere. When you're driving your car, put it inside of your car so that you can see it. Don't cover the speedometer, but put an extra speedometer so you can see your goal and exactly what it is that you're shooting for. Make a vision board of the people who have the perfect bodies, the perfect lives that you want. Make yourself see that every single day. Um, you know, inside of your, your bathroom, when you walk in your bathroom, take dry erase marker and put your goals up. And then really what you do is to hold yourself accountable. Then you force yourself to get onto the scale every single day, because when you track something, it's much more likely to happen. And so you track it every single day. And so you're literally going, okay, I'm 195. And then what you do is when you lose a pound, you put, okay, I'm at 194. All right. I'm at 193. And you put it up on, on the, the dry erase. So you literally see it every single day. This is the difference between somebody who just kind of coasts through life and somebody who steps into the driver's seat and says, I'm going to hit my goals. I'm going to make my life what I want it to be. There is no other option but success. This is the only th option that I have. I'm going to succeed at it. I have the plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. And there is no possible way on this freaking earth that I'm not going to hit my goal. That's the difference between a successful person and an unsuccessful person. Someone who coasts through life and someone who steps in the driver's seat and says, I'm in control of this freaking thing. Everybody get out of the way. I'm in the one that's in control. And this is going to, this ship is going to go where I tell it to go. So those are the six steps set in goal real quick. Number one, know exactly what it is that you want to be very, very clear on it. Number two, determine what you intend to give up in order to get that. Number three, establish a definite date. Number four, create a definite plan. Number five, write out a clear and concise statement of about four to five sentences. And number six, read it to yourself at least twice every single day. And once again, this is from my favorite book, Think and Grow Rich. If you're interested in buying it, I'll just go ahead and link it down below. You can just buy it if you want to. I recommend every single person read it. It's my favorite book. I probably read it 10 times, I would say. It was the first real book that opened my eyes to, oh my God, success is possible for anybody because it's every single part of being successful is just clear steps to getting there. It's not just for some people and for not for other people. It's literally like anybody can be successful and create their life into what they want it to be, but there's a lot of steps they need to go into it and you've got to hit them. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. You just saved yourself 18 to 19 years of figuring it out. When I talk about being successful, it doesn't just mean money. It's just a bunch of little unsexy things. And that's what we're going to dive into is seven really unsexy things.